Hello everybody. How are y'all doing? Sorry I didn't post anything last night. Like I got my new cards, but I hadn't used them on myself yet. So like, they didn't work. So I had to like, kind of do that this morning. Which is why I'm doing a reading this morning. I don't know. I might do one tonight. I haven't decided yet though. This is the least to make up for yesterday. Kinda. Well, I probably will do one tonight. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Hope everybody's doing okay. Mmm. Like, there's an offer, but it's attached to the devil. Probably a Capricorn. Probably got a big offer. Something definitely rooted, but you know, like... At the same time, if we look at it this way, it's like that offer comes attached with the devil, too. It's kind of like, hmm. Let's see what we're reading for. I'm going to just do a six ways, because, you know, I got to go to work, so I don't want to be too terribly long. Hope you all don't mind. Remember, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it, because it's just a card game. It won't work if you don't believe in it. Or it will. It's all really up to you. Just boop your nose and away it goes. Someone like asked me about that yesterday, a friend of mine, and it was like, you know, she's just like, is it just a game? And it's like, yeah, life is a game. And if you take the game too seriously, then you start feeling like a sore loser and pouting. So take what you can that makes you happy and leave the rest, right? All right, first card. <clears throat> Three of Cups, your neighborhood witch bitch is all gathered around, conjuring, creating, gossiping, laughing, loving, indulging, all that shit, right? There's a bunch of people gathered together. Whether for good or bad reasons is really up to the intention. The situation, though, is, uh, Ten of Swords Reverse. This queer might possibly be dealing with a gaslighting situation or a betrayal that happened right in front of them. Might have done it to themselves. The wants and wishes is the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Validating emotions, being fair, the obstacle and challenge, though, is the Sun Reverse, Leo. Um, might not be feeling like your full self, and that's why he's trying to gather something with this cup, right? He's trying to feel something, connect himself with something, but it's like the obstacle and challenge is like, it's not entirely too happy. Fears and rejections, Queen of Cups, reverse. That's the King of Cups counterpart. It's like, someone is afraid. Someone might be a hoe. Um, would, no. Could be manipulative to, you know, like he's using this cup to connect to his, like, solar plexus or his middle, right? And he's got, like, a radar looking thing and it's aimed straight at her. So it's just like, wait, okay, so if I use this cup to scan this bitch like I am a computer. I can ring up her barcode and figure out like what the hell it is I'm buying before I actually buy it, you know? What brings this stuff full circle? What started it and how it'll end? The Hierophant Reverse. Taurus's card. Um, could be a divorce, could be excommunication, could be just, hmm. They're both said in the exact same way, except he has his hand up, like sending out some weird stuff and holding a thing, but they're almost in the exact same position. They both even have a pet on either side. A weird looking pet. Well, his is kind of like a lamb, but it's also like, mm, could be the same person, but it's definitely like a separation from community, could be friends, could be mutiny, honestly. Um, beginning theme is the two of wands. Not sure about what decision to make when going into the future, really. I'll use these ones today. It's my new deck. It's the After Tarot. Look at this. It's a gnome. Or, I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess it would be a gnome, but it looks weird. It doesn't look like David the Gnome. I've been lied to as a child. So, but I like this deck so far. Let me use this for a bit. At least with this spread. All the other spreads, I'll probably still use, like, the crow and, like, everything else. So let us see. Mm. 
Okay, so there are a bunch of people like talking, gossiping, right? And the obstacle challenge is like someone isn't able to find any happiness with themselves because of the fear and rejection of this Queen of Cups, right? Like, there was some sort of... It's like this King of Cups with the cup right here is, is examining this Ten of Swords situation. Looking over here and being like, should I get a divorce or separate from this or am I just crazy? Because I'm pretty sure I didn't imagine that shit that happened, you know? It's a straight cup situation. Oh, God. Five of cups reverse. Like, it's like someone let somebody drown and now they feel bad about it. Like, you know, years later. Like, well after the fact, almost, right? Hmm. Like, it's, like, it's time to, like, stop worrying about what was done wrong, almost. <clears throat> but then, like, something comes out. Like, all of a sudden, this chick's just here. And these dogs look like they're being aggressive to her. And then there's a crab here. Uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Moon Reverse. Like, secrets come out, and then the secrets... Like, it's like this chick approaches to gather the secrets. It's like, I wish to know what happened. Or, what's going on, like... Are people trying to figure out what happened between you and another person? Queer it? Like, everyone's curious, and now there's this one bitch, and she's been brought between, like, two dogs and an angry crab. And a sun moon. And she's just standing there like a... A witch, ready to get dunked or whatever, back in, like, the, um, trial days? Is that what people are gossiping about? Someone who betrayed someone and now they gotta answer for that shit? That's kind of crazy. Okay. Ten of Swords. Reverse. This betrayal right here. I like this deck because it comes out very smoothly. Uh... Ace of Swords. Someone was lacking some truth. Like, the, the eagle was blinded. They lowered their sword, but the eagle was blind. Like, the eagle didn't know where to go or see or whatever. Like, it wasn't released. And it felt like there was this body they were carrying, but they weren't really dead. They were actually tripping acid, and then they, they're, they're having their dog sit there looking and sniffing at the snake, and it was just like, oh, this is actually not a cane. This is a snake. Like they just came out of their trip. It's just like, oh, did I just imagine? Like, it's like, did I imagine it, everything? Or was this all just a hallucination almost? King of Cups, right? Validating emotions. Not being unkind, but like, at least understanding. Being mature when it comes to himself and others. Um, that's a want and wish. Could be a Queen of Pentacle. Really proud of her pentacles. She's got a rabbit running around just out of nowhere. Like, she's not sad anymore. She's kind of like, oh, okay. Like, she can see her reflection in it. It's like, she looks at this pentacle and realizes, you know. Oh, hey. I do a damn good job making this thing shiny. I actually used my stuff to make it shiny. I did this all on my own, you know? One of those things. Could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Or it could be... You, queer it, who, um, it feels like you were the faithful spouse in this, because, you know, I don't figure the Queen of Cups is really, uh, stable enough to be faithful when she's reversed like that. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I feel like with you, queer it, You're proud of the work you put into making this relationship shiny. And I think that's what you're looking at, even though the relationship soured a little bit with the Two of Cups right here. Like, you're learning how to validate yourself, even though I feel like you were really close and that's what made it hurt more. You know? This, the obstacle and challenge, it's like you have to look at what you did right instead of, like, why everything's separated. I mean, like, you got a nice little cat right here. So, it's all good stuff. Um, okay, so the 
sun right here. The unhappiness and stuff, right? That's the obstacle and challenge. Feeling like, you know, you're really not connected with yourself. We have the Empress, who lifted her wand a little more for her ducks. And now I'm not sure what she's wearing. I guess it's strawberries or tomatoes. I'm not sure. She changed her dress. She's just like, I got a bunch of ducks and they got babies. She's in a wood, more woodland area. It's not as bare. There's a um, waterfall in the background. There's a lot, like, there's a lot more space. It feels like in this picture um, than what it is in the Rider Waite deck. She has her arm raised up high, like way higher than what it was before. It was just like she was kind of like lounging, and now she's just like full on like. The tower, the Statue of Liberty kind of position is just like, I'm cool with it. I can hold this up. Um, and that's, it has something to do with like the lovers right here. Maybe she gave her heart away. And that's what these little fruits on her dress represent. But it's like, it's kind of hard to find yourself. It's kind of, it, it's almost like it seems silly for her to keep holding up that wand. But at this point, it's also kind of like, um, you know. She's working on learning how to do that much more efficiently. Like, she doesn't mind holding her arm up. Just kind of like how she doesn't mind, like, holding herself up after giving away her one apple to someone who probably burnt her or whatever. That's really the moral we are looking at here. Okay. So, the six of... Or, er, hold up. Yeah. Queen of Cups. My bad. The Queen of Cups reverse. She can be crazy. Yeah, she might be promiscuous. She's got her legs all out like her plan. Here is the hooch. Appreciate that bitch. You know, like, she's very much, um, moody and her emotions, all that stuff, right? Like, counterpart to this King of Cups right here, right? Um, we got the Six of Swords reverse right here. Like, this person wants to get off the boat and make a house with you. Uh, but I feel like they want you to carry all the swords, too. It's just like, we're gonna make a house right here. Hurry up and, like, put this stuff over here. Well, you, you know, you could help, too. You could totally help, too. You can't just have somebody do all the work, you know? Mmm. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, it's like, you gotta, like, the vine, the ghetto nun likes to call this chick Helga, and like, now I can't unthink it, so, or Olga, or whatever it is, so that's her name now for me, because I can't not see her as Olga, or whatever, that's her name. So, you know, Olga just picked up her shit and started walking. You know, the other, all these other people are just sitting there cold, being like, can you help us out? And she's just like, bitch, I'm broke too, I'm carrying all my livings in a bag. Um... You know, even though she's homeless and doesn't have much, she carries what she has with her. And it's like, you know, uh, this person, yeah, they helped carry these swords in, but now it's like they're taking what they have and walking away from it. You know, like they don't have anything left, really. That's kind of a fear right here. With this Queen of Cups, right? Alright, so the Hierophant. You know, someone, I mean, this could also be an authority figure, too, or someone who likes to, um, project almost their own sense of morality in substitute of, like, the actual thing, right? We got the Three of Cups right here. He might be banging some of his nuns. Just <laughs> he might be one of the, yeah... Okay, yeah, he might be banging a nun. He just comes in like a savior trying to save the day. Like, I want to introduce you to, like, the love of Christ. Meet me in the back room. We got some champagne. Um, don't mind the salty taste, though. It, it's nothing. But just come on with me. You know? Like, that's what it kind of seems like. It's like this person just... That's interesting. Yeah, it's like... It's like they, they it's kind of like, it's almost like a, a corruption of like whatever position they're in or whatever position whoever's in, because I don't know if this is you queer in, but it's like this person, um, they kind of abuse their position to go partying and stuff with the bitches. Yeah, like up here, these bitches as well. And it's like always swooning and shit, but now they're gossiping and telling and 
All this shit. They left the dude to, like, drown in the water. Oh, shit. Actually... Yeah, they're both wearing red, so it could easily be the same person. So, Quirin, you might have shunned your person after finding out all this vital information that they like to play hero <laughs> with people's lives. Like, that's a dangerous person. Because that usually means, like, they're charismatic enough to, like, convince people they're a good person. Right, ending theme. Mm, seven of Swords. It's like you want to take those swords that you took that you were carrying with you. Maybe you're trying to make it look like you still don't have anything while this person watches you walk away. Like, they don't want you to leave unless they, like, feel like you're as destitute as they are, if not worse. But it's like, you're trying, like, you should watch out for any traps, yes. But I feel like that's what's hindering you from making a decision about how to move on. Because it's like, if you carry all these swords with you, it's just going to keep you stuck. You're going to get into that noose of the situation, right? Right. So let's see those. Hmm. Oh, well, we got three right here. Yep. Yeah, all of this fun time is like, was really bad because someone was doing some sneaky sneakiness in between all of this. And it took all the gossiping from, like, these chicks to bring about this injustice about what someone was doing in the flip side. Or in, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm just pointing some shit out here with somebody. Like, you know, it's like... I don't even think that they meant to talk about it, either. It's like, in this version, he's facing everything. Right? But on this side, he's not. It's like his back's turned. So whoever's listening to these people, like, talk and whatever, like, that's when they, like, get caught up in the injustice for what they've been doing, sneaking around and shit. This is you, queer it, Like, you know. I don't know. Like, move to a different state so, like, nobody can call you out for shit. We got a lack of stagnation. Well, not a, not a lack of stagnation. What I'm talking about. I mean, like a lack of movement. Like nobody's going towards this situation over here. You're not possibly going towards this Queen of Cups. You are holding back your strength. You got your back turned to her because you know it'd be a burden to do otherwise. Oh, okay. Well, there. I guess that's the rest of them. It's all in my lap. You. Okay. Over here, secrets definitely came out that someone was trying to guard heavily. Um, so shit wouldn't happen. But shit happened, and now it's like, mm. Now they, they might feel a little bit, like, disenfranchised or, like, lacking. They might have lost, like, some fundage because of this, too, because they were hanging on too tight. It might be that when these secrets come out, it'll affect their money. Like, it'll put a halt to it really quick. Whoever this Queen of Cups and this Hierophant is, anyway. I don't know, but there he goes. There he goes. All right. So, I gotta go to work, but I will see you guys later on, probably tonight. Love your faces. Bye-bye.